Hello everybody. This video is to show you about the uh, updated version of my old script called Change Render. And this time, this is called Advanced Render Switcher. And all you have to do is download the script from, uh, download this exe file from scriptspot.com. And after that, run the exe. Press next. And you can disable font script if you want to. But if you're selecting font script, it will be copied to my documents folder. Let's disable it for now. And press next and choose your max default installation directory in my case I have it installed in C program files Autodesk 3D Max 2010 so just uh, select the default max installation directory and press install and will install the script so let's open up max and see what it can do so after installing my script I'm back in 3D Max and now what I can do is go to customize and select customize user interface and in the toolbars in category s uh, scroll down and you'll see my name there Sadish 2040 and create a new toolbar press OK and drag the advanced renders to the new toolbar and let's drag the new toolbar up here and press it and it'll execute the script and you may already know what these buttons do these are here to change the render engines and these are to reset the material editors let's expand the UI and you'll see some of the V-Ray controls here and they're all disabled because our current render is not set to V-Ray let's set the current render to V-Ray and let's open the render setup and you can see that if I turn the GI on it'll actually turns the GI inside the indirect illumination and I can control it through the script itself and I can change the primary GI engine to whatever I like and also the secondary engine uh, for instance I'll change this to light cache and you can see if I change the value here in the spinner you can see that it's actually changing inside the V-Ray you can, we can set this to, to 1000 or and you can also change the settings here and you can change all the settings here and it'll get updated inside V-Ray you can also control the caustics you can turn on and on, you can control the multiplier you can control the uh, surge distance, maximum photons and density etc and alternatively you can just crop the slider here and you can see it's currently set to medium if I set it to good you can see that the values are getting updated you can set it to good or nice or extreme and you can see the values getting updated here and inside the script and so also updates the irradiance map settings like uh, in extreme you can see the color threshold is 0 0.18 and normal threshold 0 0.1 0 0.38 and it also updates the settings here in the DMC sampler so this is what my script do so I hope you like it and if you want to uninstall the script it's actually very simple you can delete the button here this option with delete button press yes and let's uh, close our 3D Max and let's go to control panel uninstall the program and you can see here advanced render setup sorry render switcher just select it and press uninstall it'll ask you if you want to remove it just press yes and it'll remove the script and the icons so I uh, hope you find the script useful to you and thank you for watching please use the script if you like it